So, Mum, what do you think of doing all these videos? I love them. Now <laughs> I'm really into it. But I had no idea that that night when you convinced me to do the Windows 8 one, I was in a purple fluffy dressing gown, ready to go to bed, and then you convinced me to do it. And I am so embarrassed now because I had no idea how many views it would get. <laughs> and that sort of thing. So anyway, let's get on with it. Let's do the next operating system. What have you got for me this time? This okay. time, you're going let's to go. be trying Zorin 6. 6.1 to be exact. So it's another Linux operating system made in 2012. So Zorin 6.1, or just Zorin in general, is basically for people who are transitioning from Windows, Microsoft Windows, and they want to access Linux. So it's at its core, it's got this kind of compatibility of Ubuntu and it can access the Linux applications. However, it looks very similar to Windows. Okay. Windows Vista and Windows 7 more than Windows XP though. Okay. And so it's a modern one? It's 2012. Right. This is the latest version of Zorin 6, 6.1. Okay. Um, and like usual, it's slow because it's booting off a USB. Anyway, what do you feel about it being similar to Microsoft Windows in its look? Well, that's good because a lot of people are so used to using Windows. I'm assuming Windows is the most popular operating system. So therefore, It's people... got the highest market share. Well, there we go. So, therefore, people that are coming from Windows to Linux, it would probably make the transition a lot more easier. Okay. So, this is what it looks like, just basic. The, with unmodified, I haven't touched this. This is what it looks like from scratch. So, your first task is, and I know it's not the real time, what is the time? Okay, well it says 4.01 a.m. and I'd be mad if I'm doing this <laughs> at 4.01. <laughs> okay, great. So the next task is write, save and open a text document. Okay, well I assume I go to this GNO menu. Um... Just note that you right clicked on it. Oh, okay, yeah, accidentally. I wasn't thinking. Left click. Here we are, the main menu. Internet office. Well, office? Okay. I'm assuming it's that one. Text document. Okay. I want to make a text document. Oh. Okay, so this was very easy to do. Now save yep. it, I go to File, Save... Note that this program, LibreOffice, is in a lot of versions. It was in Ubuntu 2 and it's in yep. this. I That's why it's it. getting very, you're getting very used to this. Okay, so text doc, save. Okay, now go. access it from your files. Okay, so I'll right click that. You mean left click? Yeah, I'll left <laughs> click that, yeah. Um, and I'll go back to Office. Try and access it from your files, not using the actual LibreOffice. Documents. There we go. Simple? Simple, very simple. So you like this? Is it, uh, how are you feeling about it versus Linux Mint so far? Linux Mint Cinnamon to be exact. This is actually, even though I really like the Linux Mint one, this one for me is much easier to use. Okay. Now open an internet browser and then make it full screen. I think that's an internet browser because I recognise the symbol as Chrome. Yep. Maybe. Start Google Chrome. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> what? Well, this is telling me about getting into email, but I don't want to get into email. I just want to open don't it. Don't worry, this is just Chrome. Whenever you... L I shouldn't be talking about Chrome, but Chrome basically 
you log in with your Google account and everything it'll log in for you. It'll log into your YouTube account, oh, it'll log into your emails, it'll log into your AdSense account, anything. That's what Chrome is all about and it synchronizes everything and when you log in it kind of synchronizes it across like you know, operating well, then, systems. How do you go to the just the straight out Google? How would you do that in any web browser? Well, I just click on normally the sim the symbol, but this takes <laughs> but me straight. But if the home to page, you know, this if the home page is not Google.com, yeah, what do you do to make it Google.com? Well, how do you oh. go to Google.com? Maybe I go up here and do Google. Get rid of the word Chrome, please, at the beginning. Yeah, you just type in Google. In fact, that bar at the top, you would be excited about access a Google search. So instead of, oh. you can actually use that bar to type in a website or just Google search something. Oh, okay. So, so Chrome, what do you think about Chrome? I still like my Mozilla Firefox because okay. I'm so used to that. Okay. Now... The next task, uh, oh, and maximize it. You didn't actually maximize. What do you think about those buttons at the top? Maximize. Yeah, I'm all. I'm used to all this. This is. Those look like Windows buttons, basically, don't they? <laughs> they do. Yeah. Okay. The next task is what is forty-eight times thirty-two? Okay. Well. Do you like how it's um doing fades and stuff? Like, look, open the start menu and watch how it opens. Notice how it kind of came in. Yeah. Definitely. Do you like? But oh. do you? Do you think it? adds to the experience it does nothing or the normal start menu would just appear it doesn't have a fade okay. effect what do you think i think it gives the impression that it's faster but that just could be a false impression I don't okay know. but it feels faster oh wait a sec he's internet here i just want to have a look oh that goes back to chrome again and stuff yeah how would you access those ma categories again because you had categories and you went into the internet category how do you go back to the back. main back here? <laughs> I mean that's logical back yeah <laughs> yeah and so what sorry what was the task I got sidetracked so what is 48 times 32 oh, calculator yeah let's find the calculator accessories I think it would be in accessories calculator I've just got one thing to say about what? it I've noticed that when I went into accessories yeah I had to click on it for the next menu to come up. What I actually like is if I mm. went into accessories, then at the side it gave it gives a drop down menu. I think I prefer that oh, okay. rather than having to click click on it. But still, yeah. it reacts instantly. And, yeah. Okay, forty eight times thirty two. Easy. Done. Okay, now don't quit that yet. Don't. Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> thank goodness you missed the X button. <laughs> I've got something to show you. Yes. What happens when you normally drag a window around the screen in Windows XP? When you normally drag yeah, it? Yeah, what happens? It just moves around the screen just, when you drag it. Yep, yeah, and nothing special happens? No. Try and drag this around the screen. Okay. Oh. From the top bar. Oh, oh wow. Shake it around. <laughs> it's like you're shaking out doing <laughs> washing. <laughs> Like you what? Doing know. washing? No, shaking out some washing. <laughs> Is that the first thing that shows that you're a real mum? Doing washing. It's on your mind. Okay. You're using the computer and you're thinking about the washing. So if you shake it rapidly, yeah. even up and down, <laughs> up and down too. Oh my god. So and if you do it in a big circle. I mean. In a circle. Do a circle. Okay. Oh, wait a sec. Really fast. Whoa. See? Okay. What flapping do you think about, about that? <laughs> what do you think about flapping them about? That's really cute. <laughs> so you so like do you think that adds to the experience you would want that or do you think it's just a novelty that oh. would get annoying? It wouldn't get annoying. It's fine, mm. but it's not like I'm gonna change operating systems just For to that. have the little shaky flapping about. But if you could have that in Windows XP right now, and you don't have to do anything, you just press the button and it'll be in XP. Would you have that? Is well, it good? It's not really. What's it adding to? What's it doing? Is it a useful thing? I mean, it's it's just a novelty. Really. Okay. Now, the next thing is customise the way your computer looks, and typically you'll do this by changing your desktop background, because that's yeah. you, you're not really interested in any other kind of customisation. Well, I have learnt mm. that even though I'm an XP user, and I've never ever changed my desktop 
background simply because I don't like change and mm. there have been times in the past where you've gone into my computer and you've changed everything and I've, I've come into it absolutely horrified. Um, but just so you know what the, she's referring to, she uses the Windows 95 classic theme on her XP computer, meaning she's still stuck in 1995 and I try to put the normal XP theme with the green start button and the bluish start menu and she goes insane and oh, I don't know how to do everything. Well, That's what she's referring to. She's scared of 2001. She's actually scared of Windows XP and we may as well just install Windows 95 on her own computer. Anyway, what were you about to say? Well, I've learnt yeah. from the past that you right click okay. the mouse on the screen. So that's what I'm going to do. Yep. Change desktop background. I mean, in Windows to... XP it says properties, then you've got to go to change desktop background. Oh, that's all right. Oh, wow, these are some good ones, aren't they? How about you look at a few instead of just one? Oh, wow, and you've got to scroll down menu. Look how many there are. Oh, I like that. Um, I'll have that and one. see it changes instantly. You don't have to click apply or anything. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I like what? that. I really like that a lot because that's even better than my XP. Yeah, you've got to click. Yeah. As far as I remember, you click apply. It makes things faster. Yeah. And it just, it's to the point. I like yeah. it. Like, why would you choose something and then have to click apply? Yeah. Like, I mean, you're choosing it. It's like saying, are you sure you want to quit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. This is Okay. Good. I love it. You, so, better than the next mint? Well, actually, yeah. So this is officially your favourite operating system. Zorin 6.1 is your favourite. It is officially my favourite. I do like this one. But apart from XP? Or do you like it better than XP? I don't know. I actually don't mind this. <laughs> Even okay. though I, I like what I'm used to. This is quite easy to, okay. to use. Now the last, I was going to call it a task, but you can't really call it that because it's up to you. Mm. You can just explore the operating system a bit. So go. Okay, so explore around. What have I got? Well, I know that's. So I've got accessories there. Yeah. So that's just a basic text editor yes. there. That's for game stuff. Okay. Graphics. That's the internet. That's the office stuff. System tools. What's that? Administration preferences, system okay. settings. Well, I never need to, to go. You never do any of that, that stuff? stuff? No, not at all. Software center, what's that one? Oh, okay. So these are all the. Yep, free programs. Free programs. You, that you, you can, can add. These are not in. Well, some might be installed on the yeah. computer by default, but these are things um, for Zoran OX, OX, OS that you can have on your computer. Oh, okay. Fine. Yep. So if you wanted any of those. Okay, interesting. That's great. And what else was down here? Place no. Okay, well I've had enough of that. Now I know that's the internet thing. What's this one? Oh, that's this is all like your files. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's my one item. That's that document I created. I like the fact it shows the number of items. Yeah. Well, the in documents there. in your documents folder. The yeah. desktop has something else on it. Yeah, okay, yep. I like that. Um, what's this one? Okay, that's probably stuff I don't need to. Rhythm what box. happens if I right click these things? Oh, okay. So some are pinned. Yeah. Yeah, some are pinned, so those are always there even if they're not open. So you can unpin them if you don't think you'll ever use them. Or you could pin... How would you add something on there that you use often? For example, you want to use Microsoft Word or... or not Microsoft Word. You want to use um, the LibreOffice. How would you add that to this so it's always there and you don't have to go all the way to Office to get to it every time? Okay. Well, so there this, it is. How would you add it? Office. I'm assuming maybe right-click it. And it says... Create desktop shortcut. Well, I could create a desktop shortcut of it. Do you think if that's what it is? No, I think that puts it on the desktop as an icon. Well, you can try it. Oh, yeah, it did, but it overlapped with something. They've got to do something about that overlapping thing, because mm. I've 
come it's across in that. many offer rooms. Well, remember, this is you noticed that first in Ubuntu, yeah, I did, and this is based off Ubuntu, so it's got Ubuntu running at its core practically, okay. and it's just so modified a lot. For all the operating system developers out there, that's mm. something you need to look at. Don't don't have it overlap. Have it coming as the next icon down. Yeah. Okay. Next. I'm sure they didn't make it overlap on purpose. <laughs> Um, but how would you actually add it to the bar? Oh, maybe I just move it down here. Oh, it moved back. Wait a sec, I'll try again. Oh, I did. It did. It did? Yeah. Yep, there it is. That's it. So it's there now. Do I do It's actually it the thing there? next to it. That. Oh, it's then, that one. Yes, it's like a page. And then I'm going to get rid of it now. How do yep. I delete it, remove? I don't know how to. Notice, Maybe if I just cut it away. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Notice the word trash. Oh, move to trash. Gone. Okay. And then it's in... Yeah, it's in the somewhere. trash. Yep. Okay. So yep. You can double click just to make sure it's in there. And by the way, move the window around, shake it around. What do you mean shake the window? <laughs> shake a big window around because it's pretty funny. Wait a sec. Let's shake the window around just to see it. See? They all do that. <laughs> this is so funny. It's like, a, it really is like a sheet. And I'll show you a way to make it full screen. Yeah. Put it to the top of the screen or, yeah. And that just instantly. Yeah, that, so you grab it and screen. push it up. That's, yeah. Windows 7 does that too. Tell you what, anyway. This, this looks like a really well-made operating system. I really do like this and I think that... This is a 2012, so yep. this is much more up-to-date than mm. the current one that I'm using. XP. If I had to move to a more up-to-date one, this would be the one I would move to. I do like You'd this You would choose this over Windows 7. I actually haven't tried Windows 7. You'd choose this over Windows 8? Oh, gosh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Well, there's nothing... <laughs> Windows 8 is really, really bad in my opinion. Okay. Well, you can turn your computer off now. Okay. So I assume I go there. Yep. And that's probably the shutdown. Yep. Shut down. Oh, I tell you what, I really. This one's like a winner? This one. this one is the winner. What? What's it called again? <laughs> Zoran. 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 Or Zoran. I don't. Actually, I'm scared. I forgot how to look up how to pronounce it. Oh well. Z O R I N six. Zorin six. Oh, well, good operating system. Okay. Um, would you be willing to upgrade to it, knowing about the fact that it's Linux? It's not Windows. It hasn't got compatibility with Windows programs like Microsoft Office, unless you use Wine. I saw Wine in there. Yeah, and it's pre-installed, but remember, yeah. Wine isn't perfect. It is a little bit hard to use. You can get it to run, but it is a bit hard to use. Does well, that put you off enough to s use Windows 8 instead? No, 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 nothing could put me off to the extent where I'm actually put off so much that I use Windows 8. Nothing could put me off to that extent, honestly. Um, really? Yes. So you would prefer to use Windows 1.0? No, I'm saying this is a really good one. So no modern operating systems could put no, you off? No, modern ones could okay. put me off, yeah. Okay, see ya. Bye.